Oh my gosh, people, I just feel so good. I felt so seen and heard by Pasadena today. Ugh, I signed a non-disclosure agreement at every place I frequented, so unfortunately I can't tell you where or what I did, but Pasadena is the Southern California answer to Berkeley, yo. It is fine as fuck. I love it there. Even though I did have to pay to use my debit card at an ATM. I don't know why they don't take Venmo there. That would be an innovation. Although I did get two vapes for 25% off, which was perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. It's like they read your mind. out here oh gosh my back is so tight I can't wait for my chiropractic appointment I just have to wait for them to reach out to me still about the referral I mean listen socialized health care you do have to wait sometimes for it but it's worth it because it's innovative and people want to work where innovation is. And I'm innovative as fuck, my friends. This is my Sean MP persona. You know, I'm Bob Saget, really. Rest in peace, baby. It's a full house here, I'm not going to lie, and it was a full house there at the new learning center where I'm tutoring again. Laheim, Passover is coming to an end, and so is this godforsaken Abrahamic triumvirate. We are all the chosen people, my friends. It's narcissism to say otherwise, right? That's at the root of this whole problem, right? In the Middle East and the Union States of America, the United States of Israel. That's a play on Gayatri's play United States of Europe, right? You got to call it like you see it. If people have a problem with the term Zionist, to name the settler colonial and racial capitalist regime that continues to exploit the far right wing politics of this country surely as much as Biden and Trump in their own separate ways are exploiting the political situation of Palestine. Even though this country has a First Amendment right to free expression enshrined in the Constitution, even though we have all these right-wingers professing an originalist interpretation of the Constitution, for some reason they can abide the free expression and assembly of students protesting war. 
People used to take to the streets in this country to protest war. Where are the mass marches in support of Palestine and against the Israeli war on Palestinians? The Calvinists who played an enormous role in both the founding of the Third Reich and of South Africa also inspired the night you see how nasal I am also inspired the Zionist movement. These were fundamentally ethno-state agendas, purification, ethnic cleansing. Did you hear what Naomi Klein said at that Seder on the streets last week on the second night of Passover? We are making an exodus out of any kind of Judaism that tolerates a genocide of other people. That's not God. That's opportunism. And the only client can speak truth to power like that in these main streets. And certainly I can say my own piece, which is that, you know, The last time a war tour opened this country so severely, it was Vietnam, which is where my own project to become a method actor began. When I visited the Vietnam Veterans Memorial with my man, Tony Polanco. say his name. An election night, 2020, we visited the memorial on my gambit and then ended up partying that night just for a bit until he passed out. And I was up the entire night, high as fuck, with no one to fuck. And in the morning, I had to move my car. And I saw that Biden had won. And nothing had changed, my friends. Nothing had changed. Nothing really of matter or importance has changed since. And that's the scary thing. Uh, home alone scream. Nobody's home. Governments are always trying to prohibit critical speech. Why, just yesterday I discovered that the Clinton administration sued 
to prevent doctors in California and Arizona from even discussing medical marijuana with their HIV, AIDS, and cancer patients. Because why? Not because it was illegal at the federal level. This was following the proposition that Dennis Perone, Dennis Robert Perone, say his name. This is my act up story, people. Because it was good politics. It aligned with his increasing of mass incarceration with the crime bill. Third Reich, let's talk about the third way. So once again, just like in the 1980s when Reagan, the prior White House occupant, separated by Bush, won, refused to say the word HIV, an acronym to be sure, while his wife, Nancy, dined out with gays and talked about astrology. Because like Reagan, she was an actor. In the 1990s, the Clinton administration actively worked to undermine palliative care. The innovative work of Dennis Perone and colleagues in San Francisco and Berkeley. This is all new information to me. And of course, I wish I could scream. I wish I could cry, but I have no more screams nor no more tears to cry, right? Right? No difference. Right? And this while they were also trying to universalize in some fashion health care. Right? Which of course is a huge failure. These people are idiots. If they're more concerned with how they look in the media. Arthur and I watched that Hillary Clinton documentary on Netflix. That's when I was like, all right, the jig is up. Right? Nobody expects you to think for yourself anymore, my friends. They just want to serve you the content and then step off the stage. Right? They take no accountability for anything. And there still is a federal ban on research into marijuana, let alone a federal ban on marijuana consumption itself. It's ludicrous, people. They don't call me two chains for nothing. Okay, peace in the Middle East. We are going to get there. I'm going to start to turn it. I've got another full day of training. Tomorrow it's training day. I see you. Ethan and Denzel, they had me at fences.
Does no one understand that the United States government routinely lied about slavery? The Founding Fathers routinely lied or were otherwise actively deluded by what they were doing with the people they had enslaved. Talk about an original wound, right? We see what happened, the 1619 Project, right? The backlash remains fierce in this country. You can think about this as a coda. I'm writing all over the screen with my words. You just can't see them. That's called decoding. I told you I really don't give a fuck. When the light's out, entertain us. Here we are now. We're contagious. I know I made that lyric up. But can you imagine Broadway? If that's how I ended the green room every night by playing the Nirvana catalog. Or a few chosen songs on a guitar that I'm going to learn from my new friend Jason from Evanstown. Thank you, Amanda Duberly. I hope I'm pronouncing your last name right, my friend. Because you did once correct me on that, rightfully so. Thank you. Just putting it together, my friends. But no, my ambition just to speak it into existence is to do an... It could be an hour and a half, probably. Evening length show called Tea Party or the Green Room. I was going to say office hours, but no, it's Tea Party, comma, or the Green Room. What I do to keep myself from doing crystal meth or snorting poppers. Or jacking off too much, right? Performance. They treat you very well in Los Angeles. And they treat you even better in Pasadena where they're stealth as fuck everybody Rise, everybody, rise, everybody, rise, rise, rise.